You can see here our operating room. The patient is positioned in a prone position on the operating table. What I would recommend is that you put the patient a little bit more to your side of the operating table so that you don't have to lean over too much uh, during the surgery. This will make it a lot more comfortable for you uh, whilst you're doing the surgery. In the second step then, once you have positioned the patient, the operating table is slightly opened up and this will help you to open up the interlaminar window of the patient a little bit. You will see this on the x-ray and this will help you because it increases the surgical access area to the spinal canal, which in the end will make it easier, especially uh, when you are a beginner to this technique. When you look at this 360 degree video, which we have filmed in the past uh, in connection with Revo Spine, uh, you can see this here. This will give you a very good impression of our operating room setup. So the anesthesia is positioned on the patient side uh, of the head. Towards the patient's feet, you will see uh, the endoscopic tower with all of our necessary equipments that we need. For example, the water pump, there is the bipolar and the radio frequency system, which you need for coagulation. Um, then also we have the camera system. And then there is the console for the high speed burr and all the rest. So this is also at this far end of the patient. This is also where the scrub nurse is positioned and your assistant will be standing on either side, depending on what side you are doing the surgery from. In the majority of cases, you only need one x-ray shot in the very beginning of the surgery. And this is simply to mark the patient's skin incision where you will make your incision. Um, and this will also mark the interlaminar window. Once you have done that, the C-arm will go in a sideways position. And this will then confirm that you're working towards right level, um, that you're target targeting the correct level, and it will also show you your correct uh, working trajectory. For more experienced surgeons, actually the C-arm can go out afterwards. And this will give you a lot more freedom of mobility. It'll simply make it much more easier for you uh, to do the surgery. If, however, you are a beginner to the technique, I would actually recommend that you leave the X-ray in the sideways position in place, because then in those cases you can confirm again if you're in the right position or if you're still working at the right angle, and this will give you some valuable information during the surgery. Just as some general remarks, we do this surgery under general anesthesia. I think this will make it much more easier for you and also maybe a little bit more comfortable for the patient. And there is also no need for muscle relaxants, only in the very beginning for the introduction of the anesthesia, but there is no need for more muscle relaxants uh, later on in the surgery. And this will also provide you with a possible motor response in case you're working uh, close to the nerves during the surgery.